Hi there. In this video, I talk about which paper I use for my drawings and which one is my current personal favorite. So let's jump right in. For the past few years, my choice of paper has been Stonehenge. Now, this paper is technically a watercolor paper. However, I find it excellent for several different mediums, including graphite and colored pencils. So you might be wondering, what about this paper makes it so special? And why do I like it so much? Well, an important factor is the fact that this is a rag paper, meaning it's made from cotton fibers as opposed to a lot of papers which are made from wood pulp. Rag papers are archival, meaning they won't turn yellow or get brittle over time. Papers made with wood pulp, which is a lot of papers, will have acid in them. This acid will eventually cause the papers to become discolored and deteriorate, which is not a good thing. If you're interested in creating work that will last a long time, as well as selling your work, which more and more people are doing, I highly recommend investing in the best paper you can. One characteristic that I like about the type of paper I use is the fact that it's a hot press paper. This is a texture assigned to watercolor papers. This type of paper has a very smooth surface. This is what I look for in a paper since I do very detailed work. I also like a thicker paper. The Stonehenge I use is 250 GSM, which stands for grams per square meter. In a nutshell, the higher the number, the thicker the paper. To give you an idea of what this looks like, here's a sheet of all-purpose paper, probably the same thing you use in your printer, compared to a piece of 250 GSM Stonehenge. Pretty significant difference. I prefer a thicker paper for a few reasons. The first, if you add any type of liquid to the surface, the paper will be able to absorb it well and the paper won't buckle. Second, I find I can layer my graphite and colored pencils more so than I can with thin paper. This allows me to build up tones and colors more and achieve a darker and richer result. And finally, a thicker paper can withstand more abuse, so I can erase a lot and even use sandpaper on the surface without creating tears or holes. If you're looking for top quality paper, Stonehenge is a great recommendation. Other similar papers include the Strathmore 500 series and Arches. Any one of these is an excellent choice. So to summarize real quick, I'm currently using 100% cotton, acid-free, hot press, 250 GSM white Stonehenge paper. Now, if you're interested in getting yourself a pad of Stonehenge, I've included a link in the description for a pad that I currently use, which I know you love. Also, before I go, this was just a brief overview of the paper that I use. But if you'd like to learn more about drawing papers, check out my Patreon page. Here, I have a full length tutorial where I go more in depth on topics like paper textures, acidity, and weight. I talk about different brands and what's suitable for what level of experience. So whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, pretty much everything you need to know to choose the right paper for you. So I hope this video was informative. If you have any questions, just leave them for me in the comments. Consider liking this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.